Welcome to this episode of OpenSCAD by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this little vice project with you. So I picked up this vice, uh, the small like jeweler's vice from Amazon. I'll have an overlay up in the corner. And one of the things I got looking at this and I said, wouldn't it be cool if I could reverse engineer this and be able to print out my own? So that's what I really set about doing. And I'm going to do a little bit more detailed episode on the whole design process and a design talk episode on DIY 3D tech.com the main channel but I wanted to share the code because I've done this in in open SCAD because I think it's a little bit unique and um, you can probably take this code and use it for other purposes now again like most everything I do it's it's fully parametric here where you can set up all your different parameters so if you want to use different spring sizes different bolt sizes different bumper sizes you just change the numbers here and Bob's your uncle and you you have a whole new object so again I'm also working with bodies in a couple different shapes here not really shapes but maybe modalities here because uh, obviously you can see I've got the two main colored shapes here are the faces as I'm referring to them and, and the idea is is to kind of uh, cross collate my objects so in other words to knock out holes line things up and you can kind of go through I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hit it all in detail the code will be out on the open SCAD site so you can go out there steal it etc and again you can kind of walk through it and see how the various pieces work I'm also using logic up here to kind of break the, break it apart from my bumpers which are up here from my faces uh, because again the idea is I printed the bumpers out of TPU and I want to be able to, to have uh, OpenSCAD render those separately than the faces so put in a little bit of logic nothing too fancy there just some uh, if statements etc but as you can kind of see as I move down the code there's a lot of different pieces of how this comes together and I think it's kind of unique um, how I've kind of fit the various pieces together and bringing them together as modules because I had to do this because of obviously the order of operation and I think that's one you know thing worth mentioning that I haven't stressed a lot because most of the bodies that I've worked with in, in open SCAD have been pretty linear in nature well these are somewhat non-linear in nature where some of the dependencies uh, of these have to be at a higher order and what do I mean by that it is that I have to take something out equally from both but not equally in total so for example these bolt these uh, not bolt holes sorry rod holes here uh, you notice they don't pass all the way through and I've got the as I move over here it's a bit of a big object for the computer um, are different sizes because in the, th this front face here I want I want a pressure fit in here but I want a slide fit through here so this is one of the big keys of, of kind of going through some of this so I have to have a different hole size for the receiving versus the front face but they have to be lined up so that's what I'm kind of talking about so some uniqueness here and again I have this model the STLs out on Thingiverse if you want to get them but if you want to create your own and again the nice thing about this is you can create it of any size you want if you want to create this you know car size truck size and you got a printer that big you can do it and that's really the great thing I like about OpenSCAD is how easy you can make a parametric drawing yes I know you can do it in Fusion 360 but there just seems to be a bit more elegance doing it in code so anyways just wanted to share this with you guys if you found this project interesting you found this code useful definitely please give me a thumbs up on this also don't forget to subscribe to the channel I put out regular content and also don't forget to check out our uh, parent channel DIY3DTech.com I'll have a lot more on this vice project coming up out on that channel uh, so be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode where we design something else cool in open SCAD. Cheers.